Hey, hey, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna show you a super easy way to get your presets in Lightroom. Now there are three ways you can do this thing. Option one, you can download the mobile app for free. If you're looking for a way to get your mobile presets into Lightroom without a desktop computer, then just click the link at the top of this video. Option two, you can use the old Lightroom. Adobe used to let you purchase Lightroom, download it to your computer. It would never upgrade for you, which is why they introduced the subscription. So that's option three. You can grab an Adobe Lightroom subscription pay a monthly fee and get access to Lightroom Classic CC and Lightroom CC. Comment below and tell me what version of Lightroom are you using these days? And while you're down there, there's a link to a free preset if you want it, or you can just go to freepreset.com. I'll be using that preset as an example, but this will work on any preset that you have. If you're not already subscribed and you like photo and editing tips, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Each week I drop a new video all on editing and photo taking. First up, the regular old version of Lightroom. So what you'll do is up here at the top left, click Lightroom, Preferences, and then this General tab will pop up. Click Presets, and then Show Lightroom Presets folder. When you do that, the Lightroom Presets folder will pop up. Click over to Develop Presets, and this is where you're going to paste your presets. You'll just need to unzip the preset that you downloaded, click Copy, and paste it into this folder. Now, if you'd like it to show up in its own folder inside Lightroom, then you can just name it Britly Basic and drag this preset into the folder. Relaunch Lightroom. Once Lightroom opens again, you can scroll down to the folder you created, click on the preset you just imported, and your settings will be applied. Next up, we've got Lightroom Classic CC. Once you're in Lightroom Classic CC, you can click the Develop module, go over here to the plus button, Import Presets, click that same preset to import, and you'll find your preset under User Presets. If you'd like to add this to a folder, you can just click Create Preset. We are gonna call this Preset Delete, just so we can create a new group We'll title that Britly Free Preset Create. And we'll drag this preset into the Free Preset folder and just delete that Delete Preset. So that's how you do it in Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. Next up, we've got Adobe Lightroom CC. This one is the easiest of them all. You just go up to File, Import Profiles and Presets. Click on the preset you want to import and it will be under User Presets again. If you want to create a new folder, go up to Presets, do the same thing, Create Preset. We're going to call it Delete. We're going to put it in a new group called Britly free preset. Then just right click on this, move to group, Britly free preset. Now you can go up here and delete your delete preset. And then you just click the preset to apply it. And this is before and after. One quick little photo tip, if you like this sun flare, you want that to happen in your images, but you don't want to wash out your subject, then just put the sun directly behind them, lower yourself just a little bit, and it will give them this nice halo look. If this video was helpful, hit that thumbs up button, edit on, kind of like a Yoda or something. And yes, actually I do kind of like the Star Trek, Star Wars, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, all the classic nerdy movies. They're kind of my fave and we might watch them on my birthday, but I don't know, who could say?